uh, we would prefer to do an, a procedure with an anti-grade approach because we find that it gives us much better control of the wire and also recanalization rates are better. We give 5,000 units of heparin followed by 1,000 units per hour and we normally use a 018 wire like the Boston Scientific V18. How do you do an anti-grade approach? This shows it in a very simple way. Take a catheter across the bifurcation take a wire across the bifurcation across the common femoral artery then under fluoroscopic guidance puncture the common femoral artery making the pussy easier, elegant and safer. Now you have accessed the vessel and you would realize it's fast and very simple. The diseased uh, segment is dilated with a dedicated balloon which is necessary for balloony vessels. The balloon is inflated with an inflation device G10 is used liberally to ensure there is no spasm. Uh, do we use tens? Even today we do not know for sure whether that is the right choice. And I will show you some pictures. Here is uh, popliteal inflow occlusion and the results after angioplasty. This is a category 2 lesion which you are treated by plain balloon angioplasty. There is another tibioperineal trunk stenosis category 2 which we treated by angioplasty. Another patient has got a category 3 lesion in the anterior tibial artery and the good results with angioplasty. This patient had a non-healing ulcer. Here is a patient. It's a category 4 lesion. You can see multiple stenosis in the popliteal artery, extensive disease of tibial vessels. And this is the end result after angioplasty. You can see another category 4 lesion single vessel runoff with extensive stenosis of the anterior tibial and this is the balloon and the end result after angioplasty. A focal lesion in the SFA and associate lesion in the baloney vessels and the result after angioplasty. Another lesion category 4 before and after angioplasty. So, in the end of the day, we can show you several examples where you know, though the disease looks bad, you can successfully treat it, and these are limb salvaging procedures. Another category 4 lesion, another category 4 lesion, and another category 4 where we have also had to treat the dorsal spidus or another category 4 where the only vessel had a very critical stenosis of the posterior tibial at the level of the ankle. Post procedure care or during the procedure you need cardiac monitoring uh, and uh, ensure that uh, the patient gets fluids if necessary and make sure the patient uh, uh, gets pulse oximetry during the procedure because many of them have poor cardiac function. In all cases the, after the procedure, arteriograph is performed and recorded to document the final results. Bed rest may be required for about 24 hours and uh, we have to look at the groin to ensure there is no hematoma and also make sure that we uh, know the patient's renal function is not deteriorated. And uh, keep taking care of the wound and keep taking care of the hemodynamics in case the patient is got a bad LV. The initial amputation of the patient must be supervised and uh, um, we usually do it after 24 hours. Ensure that the wound is cared for well, debrided well, appropriate antibiotics are given because whatever we do the end result for the patient would be to have a wound that's healed. Ensure that the patient stops smoking, keep his blood pressure under control, make sure his diet is good, his diabetes is well controlled, he's an antiplater therapy and his lipids are under control. So in conclusion, experience in demonstrating the effectiveness and safety of intrapopliteal PTA has been accumulated. It's clear that results of TBL PTA closely associated for patients undergoing limb salvage procedures. Anatomic selection is important. Patients with focal disease are and restorable runoff obviously will show better results. The final outcome will depend upon a team effort by the diabetologist, the cardiologist, the vascular surgeon, the plastic surgeon and the interventional radiologist and sometimes we will need other specialty, especially the nephrologist. 
So that is a short talk to just let us know that baloney angioplasty has come to stay.